वेलकम माई डियर फ्रेंड्स टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ पीरियाट्रिक पजल्स विद मी डॉक्टर विवेक विश्वनाथन टूडे वी आर टैकलिंग अ टॉपिक दैट माइट हैव पेरेंट्स एंड किडोज अ लाइक स्क्रैचिंग देयर हेड्स रिटर्निंग टू एक्टिविटी आफ्टर पीरियाट्रिक सर्जरी स्कूल्स बैक इन सेशन एंड लिटिल बॉडीज आर इचिंग टू गेट बैक टू द स्विंग ऑफ थिंग्स लिटरली इन सम केसेस बट आफ्टर सर्जरी देर माइट बी सम क्वेश्चन मार्क्स अबाउट हाउ मच एक्टिविटी इज टू मच और टू लिटल फियर नॉट fellow puzzlers because i am here to shed some light so let's talk about getting those little superheroes back to doing what they do best climbing monkey bars chasing butterflies and maybe even conquering some math problems although i can't promise miracles there right some things are beyond even a doctor's expertise but back to the point how do parents know when it's safe for their child to resume their normal activities well it really depends on the type of surgery your child has had think of it like different puzzle pieces each surgery has its own unique recovery timeline but there are some general guidelines that we can all follow i'll give you some examples let's say your little one has had a minor procedure like a tonsillectomy they might be feeling a bit sore for a few days but they should be able to bounce back to their usual activities pretty quickly maybe within a week or so I know that sounds manageable but what about something more involved if your child had a more complex surgery like an appendectomy they likely need a bit more time to heal we are talking several weeks before they are back to tackling full on gym class or intense sports practice it's very important to listen to your child's body too even after they are cleared for activity they might still tire more easily or feel some discomfort it's a marathon not a sprint when it comes to recovery now here are some tips for a smooth transition back to activity communication is key talk to your child's doctor about specific restrictions and when they can gradually increase activity listen to your child pay attention to their energy levels and any discomfort they might be feeling Don't push them too hard too soon. Start slow and steady. Ease them back into their usual activities gradually. Think of it like training for a mini marathon. Pain is a signal. If your child experiences significant pain, it's time to call the doctor. Remember, every child heals at their own pace. Patience and open communication with your doctor are key ingredients for a successful recovery. and with that another puzzle solved thanks for joining us on pediatric puzzles and remember if you have any question about your child's recovery don't hesitate to reach out to their doctor until next time stay healthy keep puzzling and peace out